Today on How to Drink, I'm going to a party. Three parties. Sort of. Kind of. I'm not moving. I'm staying right here. I'm bringing the parties to me. I am the party. <laughs> So this is a weird one. I don't have a real plan here at all. This is an episode that I've been thinking about lightly for a while about how to pull off. The idea behind this episode... Brilliant. Just brilliant. Mic'd you up so that you could do that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. The idea is that you walk into a party. You want to make yourself a drink, but you don't have your tools. You didn't pick out your ingredients. You got to cope with what's on hand and improvise something on the fly. Why don't you just want a beer from the cooler? I don't know, maybe you don't like beer. Well, now how do I do that on the show? If I said, ah, I have Meredith here today. And I said, Meredith, plan me three parties. And so Meredith has planned three parties. I don't know what parties I'm going to. And she's going to pile up a plate of ingredients here for each party uh, that I will have to cope with and invent a recipe on the fly. So let's go to that first party. Also, Meredith has a microphone now. She's on the show a lot from behind the camera, so I put her, gave her a microphone. Upgrade. I got a promotion. Do you want to know what, do, am I telling you what party you're going to? I think that you can tell me what party I'm at. Yeah, I think it'd be weird to be at a party and not know what party I'm at. I mean, I've been that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. That's fair. But let's assume it's early in the evening. <laughs> I think we'll put an edit here and then I'll be in a party. So here we go. I'll be, and I'm at a party. Meredith, what can, I'm at a frat party, right? Absolutely. Can I leave? I'm going with you. <laughs> I don't want to be at this party. <laughs> Jaeger, Fireball, and some Goldschlager. You know, I've never sampled Goldschlager. Ever clear. Not even vodka. Obviously red solo cups. Altoids. Yeah, that tracks. That makes sense. It's Mountain Dew. Extreme. Do the Dew. Peanut butter and jelly. In this case, it's Trader Joe's organic super fruit spread and creamy salted cashew butter. It's a nicer college town. Property values are high because of the Trader Joe's. You know that if there's Trader Joe's within three miles of a house, property values are more likely to go up. So chicken ramen. And of course we got to have a case of Natty Ice. So, <sighs> hmm. boy, this is tough. Do I have a shaker at this party? Yeah, someone got a cobbler shaker for Christmas. Why There's, not? They, they probably thought like, we're going to be cool guys. We're going to have cool drinks with the cobbler shaker. Uh, what's my base spirit here? I think my base spirit is Everclear. These are all modifiers. These are peppermint bitters. These are weird to have as ingredients. I don't think I want them. It's going to be, but those are our sweeteners. And then these are to make highballs. What if I had to make one with every ingredient at this frat? I have to use every ingredient. All right. I have no clue how to pull that off, but we'll try it. It's going to be a salty, sweet thing. I'm leaving the Altoids out. That's the one thing I'm going to say. No Altoids in this because the mint is really going to screw this up. But if I got to balance every ingredient, let me get my shaker. Here we go. We're going to go with one ounce of Everclear or one shot of Everclear. I'm not really sure. I think that's a, I actually think this is a three quarter ounce shot glass. So I'm going to actually do an equal measure of Mountain Dew. This Mountain Dew is going to go completely flat. It's just going to provide a hint of orange flavor. And actually now I just had another thought. I'm going to take my glass and uh, my glass, my red solo cup, and I'm going to wet the lip of it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you do this a different way. Don't just stick your finger into the... I mean, that's a frat. Who gives a shit? But normally, I wouldn't recommend just sticking your finger into the frat's Mountain Dew, right? I'm going to take this, and I'm going to rim it in ramen flavoring and Mountain Dew. And all the frat dudes are laughing about me rimming anything. I've got in here Mountain Dew and Everclear. We're going to do a scant, like, quarter shot glass of a little something herbal. I feel a little bit silly having to use both Goldschlager and Fireball, but I suppose I have to. I like the Fireball a lot more than the Goldschlager, so I'm gonna do a three quarter uh, shot glass pour of the Fireball. That's gonna provide quite a bit of cinnamon flavor into this thing. The Goldschlager, is there anything I can do with this other than just put it a drop in there just to satisfy the requirements that I use everything? Not really. I mean, like, I can't think of any, there's really should only be one of these, but whatever. We'll just do a quarter pour, or whatever the hell that was. It's in there. Great. Now I'm going to shake this. Strain that into your chicken dusted glass. I'm going to top that up with a beer. Uh, there's a part of me that wanted to shotgun this into the glass, but we're not going to be so crass. Kind of a frat house shandy. 
I'm gonna create a garnish here, or attempt to, by quartering a set of ramen noodles. Delicious. This is the kind that has to be stirred up. Mm. It's also not peanut, this is cashew butter. <laughs> I don't know what the hell cashew butter is. Just seeing this one, this is also what's in your house, not. Oh yeah, I, I bought my wife bought that. You know, people think we're married. No, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> and also married. I'm gonna put a little jelly on this. Just a little, a little touch of jelly. I will set that atop my glass, like so. Oh, it fell right in. That was not intentional. That's okay though because actually it all holds together, even though it fell right in. So you start with a bite of the garnish. Way better than you expect it to be. This is just the Delta Special. It's not so bad. It's not so good. All we did here is make kind of a cinnamon shandy orange thing. Mostly you taste the beer, which is making it dangerous because there's a whole shot of Everclear in there. And the cinnamon is like a nice light accentuation to it. The question I have is, how does it pair with, I've been avoiding the, the, the rim, my chicken rim. How does it pair with the chicken rim? I'll tell you what, that chicken rim, gross as hell. You, you put your mouth on that, it's gross. And then, when you drink the Delta Special over the top of it, it's not so bad. The combo there is better than you would think. My favorite part of it though is definitely the ramen cashew butter jelly sandwich. That's surprisingly good. And I have to say it fell into the drink in totality. I think that was a factor. I think that it's um, it's softened slightly by soaking up the drink. You know, back in medieval times, folks were served their beers with toasts to sop them with, right? And you would take this the toast and you would soak up your beer with it. I've had worse. I mean, all in the heat wash, not bad. Sure, you can do that. Oh, and when you finish it, enjoy an Altoid. Do you suck on your Altoids or eat them? I crush them. Also, I have this weird OCD thing where I always have to put two in my mouth at a time. Never one, always want two. I want two Altoids in my mouth. I don't know, I can't explain it. There's always two. I'm moving on down Frat House Road to the next party right after this. I'm at another party! Meredith, where the fuck, what, what the hell party is this? Uh, it's New Year's at the retirement home. New Year's at the retirement home. So what do I got? A box of Franzia Sauvignon Blanc. And sure, I got a little bottle of Drambouille. Of course I do. Ah, prune juice, disgusting. A water extract of dried prunes. I got a pocket full of Werther's Originals. A, <laughs> a tiny dropper of liquid smoke. Is that because they're smoking? Cigars. It's because they're smoking, I see. A small thing of instant coffee. Is it Sanka, by any chance? Um, I'm not sure how to open. I've never done this. Well, it says open here. So maybe you pull this all the way out so it'll stay out. That's a fucking mystery to me, man. Whatever, we got it. There's our Franzia box wine. Mm. How's our room temperature Franzia gonna be? Oh yeah. Nothing I love more than a little pour spout action there. Oh, what the fuck? They, you, do people drink this? It smells, oh my God, it smells like corpse piss. I don't know what corpse piss smells like, but that's what it smells like. It's disgusting. Why do people drink that? What are the rules at this party? Do I gotta use all this stuff? Yeah. I have to use it all? I, um, yeah, I think you want you one, two, three, four, five. Yes. You want me to mix instant coffee with the Franzia? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Hmm. The wine is the really hard thing. Honestly, if it was everything but the wine, I can make this drink work. The Werther's, the coffee, the Drambuie, and the Ensure, and the liquid smoke. That'd be not bad at all. Prune juice is a Bit of a stretch, but not impossible. The wine, I've got it. This is gonna be a positively insane riff on a New York sour. Let's start <laughs> here with our Drambuie. Um, we're gonna take our Drambuie and we're going to do a full shot. We assumed that there was a shot glass somewhere I could use for measuring. They're doing shots at this uh, retirement party. They're of age. They're of age. <laughs> They're of age, sure. Now I'm going to add a uh, double. So two parts of vanilla and sure to one part Drambuie. 
uh, one spoonful of our instant coffee. I think that's a lot of instant coffee. Shit, I may have overdone it. I might have to go back on that. Now we'll try for it. This was a little bit tart. We're going to use that sparingly, like a half. Okay, we're gonna add one drop of liquid smoke. Um, maybe I'll add two drops. That's it. So somehow I was able to distill the cigar smoke out of the air and pour it into the drink. I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna go one half more on the Drambuie. So I'm kind of editing myself on the fly. We're gonna go a little bit more on the Drambuie. This is gonna be pretty sweet, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about that at this point. Other than like adding hot water to this. I suppose that's true. I could have just taken the instant coffee and added hot water to it because we determined that hot water will be available and made coffee. I could have done that. I didn't. I don't know why. I am going to dry shake this. I'm going to treat the ensure. I don't know that it's going to matter, but I'm going to pretend it's a little bit like an egg white. Was the purpose of this episode to make good drinks or to just make drinks? Because I feel like things have gone way off the rails. I don't hate that. Now we're going to shake with ice. We're going to just pour this into our glass. I don't want to add wine to this because I think that's a halfway decent drink down there. But we're going to have to. I'm going to try to do this little wine float here. Ew, that's disgusting. It's like curdling. It's really gross. I'm going to do something totally insane. Am I allowed to have fire? Is yeah, there, um, I have, do I well, have access? There's, they're smoking cigars, so... Oh, yeah, they, they are. Have fire. Some, since they're smoking cigars, that means I have a blowtorch, because you would light a cigar with a blowtorch. I am heating up the tip of this cocktail pick. Uh, it is now cherry red, and I am going to skewer this Werther's Original on it. Perfect. Um, a lot of smoke from that, actually. There's quite a bit of smoke. Um, but there we have a Werther's Original stuck to a cocktail pick. The, and then I'll garnish it with a Werther's. All right, stir that together with your Werther's. And just let that melt into the drink and develop over time. Uh, I'm going to call this drink, uh, what do I do now that I'm retired? It just kind of tastes like bad coffee. The, the, I think that it was probably really not bad, actually, before we put the Franzia in there. I'm really annoyed about the Franzia. It doesn't sit on top, which is weird, too. You would expect the Franzia to sit on top. Oh, God, that's disgusting. We're going to do this again. No Franzia. Franzia is gone. I'm doing this without the Franzia. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't. No. No. I mean, and let's be honest, okay? Who, the, the lunatic who's at this retirement party making this drink, he, they are not interested in the Franzia. The person who's making this drink is really kind of just interested in avoiding this party. They don't want to be at this party. They're looking to keep their hands busy uh, away from the party. So here we go. We got an ounce. Uh, I did one and a half jiggers of the Drambuie. And I don't think that's a mistake. Two of this. Good Lord, that stinks. Ugh. Uh, one prune juice, which by the way, be careful about this. This drink will cause you to see the bathroom. Just the one drop of the smoke. And now we're going to do a lot less of the instant coffee. Like I would say like that much, just like the tip of my bar spoon. Great, we're gonna dry shake that. Now let's shake it with some ice. Pour that into this glass. And uh, garnish that with a skewered Werther's. Delicious. To your retirement, Jim. Uh, enjoy the gold watch. It's sweeter than I would like, but that's actually really good. <laughs> it's very drinkable. The vanilla, coffee, and drambui, they really work well together, actually, like kind of surprisingly so. The Ensure, it's vanilla. It's got some protein in it, so it gives a little froth, which you can see actually worked. Um, it gives it a little bit of body. Not bad. Sweetness there. The prune juice, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you can probably do without that, but you don't mind it in there either. It just thins it out and it brings the whole thing down so that it's not, it's like the least potent flavor. So the prune juice actually kind of dilutes things along with the ice. Prune juice is a little bit tart as well. So it also kind of adds a bit of balance of acidity to some of the sweetness. Not much, but a little. The liquid smoke, I'm not gonna lie, I don't detect it, but it does provide authenticity to the environment in which we imagine ourselves. One smoke-filled retirement den. Do not attempt to add a Franzia float to this drink. Ultimately, this is sort of a coffee vanilla milkshake 
with quite a bit of whiskey in it. There's an ounce and a half or a shot and a half of 40% alcohol Drambuie. So uh, that, that's going to be one fun time at Jim's retirement. It's like if uh, your grandparent was like sneaking booze into their, into their protein shakes every yep, morning. <laughs> which my grandparent would do. I think it's time to move on down the road from this retirement party. I have no idea where Meredith is sending me next. So let's go there right after this. Meredith, what kind of party am I at now? What the heck is this? So these are, these are new yoga moms and the, their lunch at the house afterwards. Meredith, what? Why am I at that party? You didn't say they were parties that you would go to. That's true. I didn't say that. That's fair. I have a hug and a mug, stress therapy, cinnamon chamomile tea, coconut water, premium coconut water. I have honey. I have some screw top Rondo Prosecco. I have some vodka. That's good. We have a base spirit today. And I have some, that's a name, Whispering Angel Rosé. Okay. Here I am, new moms. I'm here at your party, your yoga party. Do the new moms have a yoga party? They're getting back in shape. And they do that together? In the Midwest, I think they do. So my first thing here I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, like half of these bags of stress therapy garbage and I'm going to, I'm going to make an infused vodka. I also like that it says relax and rewind, not unwind. Like, like I just want to undo it. I want to undo what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is what it said. I'm going to just add a lot of vodka to this now. I'm going to kind of just like shake this lightly to sort of help it do its job. There's a very loud warning on the back of this honey thing. Warning! Do not feed honey to infants under one year of age. That's true. As everyone knows, on your 365th day on this earth, after your 13th moon, a magic event occurs, which quickens inside of you and gives you the ability to digest the nectar of the bees. Ah, we've made gin. That was step one. Step two is this. We're gonna take a highball glass. And I'm going to add to it. That's really coconutty. I've had a lot of coconut waters that don't really taste that coconutty. That one is like coconut. That tastes like tanning butter or something. I wasn't really planning on that because now I want to try to honor that. I want to try to make sure that the coconut is tasteable in this beverage. Um, okay, here we go. We're going to add two jiggers of the coconut water. And um, I would measure this more accurately, but I can't. Uh, we're going to add like one quarter to one half part um it's probably about a third like it's like one third part if the coconut was one part i've just added like one third part um in honey obviously if you're at a party you're gonna use whatever you got probably a butter knife or something and i'm just going to mix the honey and the coconut water until they are um a singular consistency so there's no lumps it's just like you know mixed uh, i'm gonna uncork this jose Tart, just basically tart. Okay. Can I have some lemons? Are there lemons at this party? Yeah, yeah, we can do lemons. I've been granted lemons. So I'm gonna take one lemon. Um, I don't have a juicer at this party. Uh, anyway, I can just juice this sucker like this. I find that one of the most important things to do when juicing by hand is to roll it as much as you can. Let's gonna say that this is done infusing. We're gonna drain our infusion off. Oh yeah, look at that. That's our infused vodka. Great, nicely done. Um, presumably, <laughs> you might want to put that into a bottle or something. I didn't have anything else to put it into, um, so I'm just gonna put it into this glass mug that I found. But make sure people at the party know that that's all vodka. Now I'm gonna take, uh, this is gonna be a tricky pour. I'm gonna try and do two of these off of the mug. One, two, went better than I thought it was gonna. I'm gonna take this whole thing, put it back into my shaker, um, the only reason I didn't build it in the shaker to begin with is because the shaker was busy doing the infusion. I have a little room here. I gotta get some ice now. Okay, we got that in there. I'm going to add some ice to that. I'm going to top it up with some Prosecco. And uh, I think I've made a uh, Yoga Detox Collins here. Ooh, that is nice. Oh man. I really like that. This is actually a good drink. The lemon honey um, come in strong and then immediately give way to this like floral thing. 
uh, this floral sweetness that kind of percolates through. It's quite nice. I'm not sure I'm getting any coconut in there. I mean, the coconut is probably contributing a little bit to the sweetness, but mostly it's the honey that's in there. Um, it's also probably contributing, contributing a lot to that froth that we have, that beautiful froth. The infusion of the tea into the vodka worked really well. I mean, the tea is very present. You get like a lot of these floral chamomile notes. This is a good, this is a genuinely good drink. Not just, um, uh, oh shoot, what else can I do? It's on the sweet end of the spectrum. It's a, it's a long drink, it's a Collins, it's that kind of a thing. I don't think anybody's gonna object to it being this sweet. You could cut the honey back a touch. How did we do at these parties? I think he nailed this one. This one was very good. I think the old people would be happy too. Somebody would be happy. And frat boys will drink whatever's in front of them. Yeah, they, yeah. They, don't, they don't mind. Yay, I made it through the three parties. But now I just wanna go home and return to my antisocial solitude. I think that the way to really do this though, rather than having Meredith kind of make up parties is to have, have guests or go to guests or meet with guests and have them kind of show me what they have in their liquor cabinet or kitchen and have to come up with a cocktail on the fly. I think that's the way to do that. I think we'll probably try that. I think we'll be trying that very soon. You know, my social medias are there. I'm on Instagram and Twitter and i am got to get back on to Twitch and you can see those places there. And I'm on TikTok. I don't, I'm just watching. I'm not like doing much yet. I should make tiktok -y content. I don't know. Should I? Probably not. Um, but do, I mean, if you like the show, please, I guess, like, follow and subscribe. I'm supposed to ask you to do that. Then I've been making the show for a long time. So here are some other things for you to check out. I hope that you will enjoy them. Thank you. Uh, I want to go away. I want to go away now from making this episode. I'm going to be done now. So, um, cheers. I totally missed my face with the straw. I just went right along and I had to recover. Um, I don't think I looked cool. Okay.